Hello, Scorpio. I cannot wait to do your reading for February 2022. Should be a loving, lovely reading. Don't forget to hang out to the end. I'm going to introduce some new products that I have, and I use two different decks. So you're going to want to sit tight for both of those. One is like the very traditional one you see here. And then one is more of a um, naughty deck. It kind of says some bad words in it. So there you go. Let me know if you are new here. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. And uh, don't forget to check you have a rising sign and you have a moon sign also. So you're going to want to click on all the different readings I have to get a very full picture of what is going on in your life. Let's see if it's crazy or not crazy, Scorpio. Not crazy right now. Not crazy, but not very loving either. Okay. Mm. Maybe I spoke too soon. We got love life is interesting Scorpio I'm gonna push some of these bottles back here but don't forget we're gonna go over them at the end of the video okay Scorpio we got some drama 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 going on here okay you want to keep the peace Scorpio it seems like somebody I would say toward the end of the year toward the end of 2021 so November December time period they kind of got you thinking that things were going in a different direction than they were. So they might have been like, yes, I want to stay together or yes, I'm going to work on things or yes, I'm going to change something like that. Um, it seems like they have, they were pretending, let's put it that way. They were pretending to be submissive or they were pretending to be quiet or they were pretending to keep it, keep it low. Okay. Because Scorpio, I know a lot of Scorpios. Scorpios will put up with so much crap until they won't, right? So you were kind of at that breaking point previously, and now it looks like your person, your specific person, and this could be a loved one, this could be a coworker, this could be a boss, this could be a family member. Um, this, just because the cards are looking a little more like love relationship, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it more toward that, but adjust it to to your flavor here. Um you know, it looks like they kind of laid low because they knew that you were getting ready to, you know, sting with that little scorpion tail. Ah, uh, you're keeping quiet, but you, I think you're starting to see things are not what they seem. This person is probably not going to hold up on their end of the bargain. I see you going through a period right now, a really big transitionary period. And this really has a lot to do going forward with your love life and your relationships. So Scorpio, I'm kind of going to give you a warning here. I'm going to say really back off and really watch. I'm just pulling the other deck out here. Really watch this person. You know, I think you already know the person I'm talking about. I want you to really keep an eye on this person because you have the tower card as your foundation card. That's That means things are going to change and they're going to change abruptly, quickly, without warning. These three cards, let me know this is a loved one around you. I don't like that. It almost feels like they're um, like double crossing or they, they kind of lulled you into a sense of security, but that's not what's going to happen. Okay. So just please keep your eyes open. And if you have to make an escape plan or you have to make a plan B, or let's say they want to lock you into something, like they want to buy a house or a car or something together, I would hold off Scorpio. I really would. I really uh, would avoid an, an entanglement right now. Okay. Let's look at these cards. If you don't know about these cards, these are very traditional cards down here. These are a little more modern. They say lots of curse words. So if you do not like cursing, turn the video off now. As much as I don't want to lose you, I curse a lot too. So I'm probably not the person for you. So let's, I'm going to pull three cards at random. They are very modern. So it gives you a modern feel of what you need to know for February, 2022. So let's see. Okay. I'm just going to close my eyes here. And I'm going to pull some cards. Okay. Oh, two oranges and a purple. Let's see. Believe what you see. I think we were just talking about that, Scorpio. I really do. Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we just talked about. That's pretty on point. You're giving your power away, Scorpio. You're a badass. Act like it. Yeah, that's what it's looking like here. I mean, it's just, and here's the thing. This is for next month. You can manifest anything you want. I can help you with protection. I can help you. We can do a, a personalized reading for you and get you a plan of how to take care of things going forward. Whatever you need, go ahead and click down below because it's going to lead to my store. 
my phone number is down there. You can text me, please don't call me, but you can go ahead and text me and I'll get right back to you. And, and I will have something that can help you. If you're, if you're, you know, and this is going on in your life, let's work on it now. And it's, it's much easier to deal with it now than it is to clean up a big mess later. And it says, whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Yeah. I mean, these, these cards are very online with everything else here. So Scorpio, I know you're going through it right now. And if you don't know you're going through it right now, open your eyes because it's coming. And there's a person around you that I just don't, I think they're just pretending just to get you to do what they need you to do. Okay. So keep an eye out Scorpio. Please let me know if you need any help. Um, that was pretty much the end of the reading, but I'm going to go over some products. So if you want to click off, I totally get it. If you want to hang out and watch some of these products, uh, I wanted to let you know today is the first day I'm having the essence of bend over oil. So I've been releasing a lot more of the traditional hoodoo oils. So this is this week's uh, release essence of bend over. Ironically, Scorpio, this might help you. This has to do with people around you, people that mm, may not be the best for you, or you need to get them on your side. You need to get them moving in a direction where they're going to be in line with you. So this could be coworker, could be boss, could be loved one, could be family member, anything like that. Essence of bend over oil is a very, very old formula. Um, I think it's just gonna be called bend over oil on the website because I can only have like three three capital words in the title. So probably go bend over oil if you're looking for it. Um, but this is an old, old formula. I'm only going to have a couple of these. I looked, um, when I uh, bottled this up today, I looked what was left in the jar. I think I'm only going to have 10 of these and then that's it. I'm not making it again. So get a hold of this while you can. And I do have some other, I have Moses oil. If you do magic sigils, things like that. And I have, um, Castaway Evil Oil, so that's going to be a protection like oil. And all those are going to be down in my store. So if you click down below, there are links to that. And then there's also, if you need something specific, if nothing I've mentioned resonates with you, if you look at the store and you don't see anything, number one, I can do readings. I can do them over the text or I can do them over the phone, whatever is easier for you. And um, also I can make any custom product you need. Soap, salt, oil, candle, or magical spell. I do have an altar here. I can take care of that for you. So go ahead and click down below and get a hold of me if you would like. And we can always do a personalized reading Scorpio and get you a plan. So hope you have a good day. I'm so sorry this was not an uplifting reading, but it was very important for you to hear.